Hey guys, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I've got a very awesome piece of equipment for the homestead here. Many of you recognize it immediately, some of you don't. This is called a buzz saw or a cordwood saw. And this is used for the fast cutting and processing of firewood for home heating. This is designed to run on a tractor and it hooks up to a three point hitch on the tractor and has a wide flat belt drive. This one is great in that it has a tensioner pulley. There's a lever on that other side and you engage the lever and it puts tension on your belt and engages the saw blade. So when I hook up a gas engine to this machine, which I'm going to do, then I can use the tensioner to engage the, the belts and the drive so I can let the motor warm up before engaging that. There, it's, it's old, it's been used. It's probably older than me by far. So there's some uh, little bit of love and care I'm going to have to give it. It's had some welding and some patching up. The blade is in pretty decent condition though, considering its age. And can be sharpened very easily. Just takes time. And I will do it. And then you can get replacement blades for these. And keep it running. So there is a buzzsaw. I'm going to try to get it off the truck. This one is unique also in that it has rollers on the feed table, which I've never seen. So this one is pretty cool. I don't know what this other piece is that was attached to it or is on it. Maybe I'll use it as a guard of some kind or something. I'll see. No idea. I don't even think it goes to this, but it was on it. And anyway, this was $50 which is really 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 cheap for a buzzsaw I mean that is mega cheap for a buzzsaw to get them for fifty dollars so really good deal I don't think it'll turn now because the um, the belt is wedged in there but I'm gonna undo it and get it off the truck and then uh, it's gonna take me some time planning and figuring out but I wanna set this up on a homemade stand and run this thing with a gas engine and process firewood with the trailer that I'm working on which you see in a separate video or saw already I am going to haul um, cutoffs from a mill which I'm going to cut up to proper length for firewood on this guy here so that's the plan and like I said, they sell for way more than that, even in this condition. So I'm very pleased with the deal I got. And somebody that deals in the buzz saws often was very surprised at the price I paid. Especially for this one. So, I'm going to see about getting this off here. It's going to be heavy. They loaded it in with a massive forklift. Like a huge, I don't even know if you call it a forklift. It has a massive arm with a fork on the end. It goes way up in the air and set it on here for me. Oh, by the way, why I drive a beater truck? Um, I thought my load was secure and um, it wasn't and this handle flipped over. No harm done to anybody or anything anywhere except it punched a nice big hole right through the side of my truck. I mean look at that. Nice neat round hole punched through the side of my truck and dented this all up. If I had been driving a nice, pretty new truck, I'd have been crying like a baby still to this minute about it. But um, I stopped the vehicle and I called Melanie over and I said, this is why I want to drive a beater truck for work. And she just laughed and went and sat back down in the truck. So anyway, accidents happen and uh, no real harm done because this isn't that pretty in the first place. So. I'm going to see about getting this off. This is going to be awkward and might be quite painful for some of you to watch, but I'll let you watch this uncut 
I say this cringingly. going to be my attachment point for this. I've got this extended to its fullest point, or the maximum point out. I don't know how high I can go. My goal is to get it off the truck and onto the ground where I'll get it onto a cart afterwards. So I might have to back up the truck some. I'm gonna have to get this thing up in the air. I'm going to maneuver the truck. I'll be right back. I am going to cut just while I move the truck. I don't want to bore you with you. me backing up the truck. That'll take a minute. Now the idea is going to be to get that up in the air and pull the truck out from under it. So I'm going to clear my work surface <coughs> because I don't want to hit my battery. That swings for me. I'm going to be behind this when that happens. So now I can hook it up. the right happy angle that I want. I prefer a, a better angle on that, but I'm going to do my best. I got to experiment with these and see which way is which. The, uh, the uh, switch came off on the road one day. That's the right way. Oops.
So this is going to be pulling this towards the trailer. As it lifts up, the pressure is going to be going towards the trailer. I'm going to chalk my trailer tires. I'll be right back. I don't have them chalked safe enough. I'll be right back. My ground is a little bit sloped, so I'm a little bit nervous about the angle of that. I hope this will be okay. I think I got my jack up as high as it will go on the trailer. I just got to be sure the trailer doesn't try to roll out. I need to get the pressure off this upwards. Okay, now the, uh, the table is staying on the truck, so I've got to hook pressure on that with the chain keep the table up as well. Slide on. No. There's a right here. I've got to get that table to come up as well with everything else. So once I get this up enough, I can drive the truck out, is the plan. There's a lot of pressure on this point. weight's got to come off this point here. I might have to just slide it because my arm won't go high enough, I'm sure. I might be able to, but this, all the weight's done in this corner. creaking the whole time. Okay. Good. I got the tension off that corner. I think I want to be able to drive the truck out, but I don't want it to drag. If I had another person, it would be great. Now it's off. Okay, now it's fully suspended in the air. Okay, the only trick is to not hit my tail light as I pull forward. Let's hope. Now I'm just going to try to pull straight forward. That thing is completely suspended. Completely suspended in the air. I should be able to get the truck out without breaking my light, I hope. Okay, now, the key now is to get that on the ground safely, very carefully. Now it's going to be tricky because i got to do it with the releasing the pressure in the jack without crushing anything. This is going to be scary, and I don't want to be in the way of the camera, but I don't want to get myself in a dangerous situation. Because if I release the pressure too fast, this will crush down hard.
one hand is not easy on that. Not at all. Now I want to get that dry belt out of there. It was wedged in before. Okay. Now I'm probably going to be readjusting this later to get it down on the ground properly. I'm going to want to get that up on its feet. And then I'm going to put a sort of a trailer under it. First job for my arm, my crane, on my new trailer deck. I'm gonna have a lot of uses for this, I know it. This is a nice tool to have around the homestead, I'll tell you that. I couldn't have done that alone without this crane on this trailer and the heavy duty deck that I built. I am so happy. This is a buzz saw, also known as a cordwood saw. I think I mentioned that earlier. Now I hope I don't wreck my uh, tension on that. So what you got here, it's gonna have to be higher for me to be comfortable. I'm gonna have to build a deck for that and put it on wheels so that I can move it around because this is heavy. I'd like to be able to move it around as needed. But you got some rollers which still work. I'm gonna have to oil everything up. And you put your uh, log on here and you slide it over and you can put a stake in the ground. You slide it over and it's set to 16 inches. And then, you know, imagine this is up to a little bit higher. And then you simply hold your log and run your table into your buzz saw, cutting your firewood. Now you can obviously cut um, on this. I'll have to measure. You can't cut the full width of the blade there's about a half inch to an inch thickness of the table but other than that you got a, a nice sized uh, log you can cut with that in one cut and I'm going to be doing lumber mill slabs so anyway you pull it back you slide your your log to the stop snip slide snip slide snip as fast as you can move as long as you've got a uh, powerful enough engine to spin this you can process firewood as fast as you can move your arms on that thing that is a great piece of equipment to have at the off-grid homestead that is amazing and that was only fifty dollars now that's normally run on a tractor it's got what's called a three-point hitch and it's got the, the three points that mount up and then the tractor holds it up at the comfortable height for you and then the tractor belt drives it and you've got here your main drive this drives your saw blade which still spins nice and freely I am going to clean up all the old grease and lube that up better and it looks like I don't know if that's supposed to be open to the outside world but um, I can see the bearing directly I'm probably going to put plugs in that. Or not the bearing, the shaft. You can see the shaft through here. I'll probably put plugs in that. There's a bearing in here. There's probably a bearing in there. And that'll keep the, uh, the weather off. And then here you've got a tensioner pulley, which you'll then slide to engage the drive belt to spin your blade. That gives you tractor time to warm up and uh, when you're ready you engage it and there's a tensioner on here to lock it in place for running and then you can disengage your drive belt and lock that back down um, I'll probably paint it it'll be a separate video when I do that I've got to give it some thought I've got to do some drawing because it's really 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 heavy so um, I'm gonna have to spend some time figuring out how I'm going to maneuver that onto a platform with wheels 
so that it's stable and I can still run it around as needed. So I'm considering getting a small trailer uh, or an axle, maybe an axle underneath it, but I'll figure it out. I got to give that some thought. But there we go. It's off.